so if there's some noise in the background, it's my fan again. This room is really hot and I'm sweating right now. But yeah, this is the July haul. So I did per I pre-ordered some July figures, but they're coming in late because some of the figure released pretty late. So yeah, so I'm going to start with my June figure, which is also came late, which is why I'm revealing it now. But yeah. So I thought this Mikko plushie, he came with my June haul, um, Ami Ami purchase. But here she is. She has some sticky, oh never mind. <laughs> I thought something stuck in it, but it's not, it's probably the design. But yeah, the t cat can take off. I mean, I, it looks cuter in pictures, which usually they always are. But I mean, it still looks, it still looks one of the best plushie I have, I guess. He, she is a little hard and stiff though. But yeah, overall, very nice detail uh, plushie. And next up comes in June, will be probably Ike. So Ike is probably, he's very expensive, mostly because of the big box he came in. Which you do see in my Ike figure review. But he's a very nice figure overall. I really like how, uh, the expression he has. And um, the flow of this figure. He's very big, so I put him on the top of my detail. Because I can't, I don't know where to put him, right? Because he kind of takes so much space. But he's a very nice figure. So the July purchase figure, I probably gonna, um, it's gonna probably come at August. It's probably uh, Ami Yoji, which is my um, a scale figure. So I'm excited for that one because it ha I pre-ordered it last year. It finally got a release, right? But yeah, so he is from June. And now we're going to start out with July. So since I already showed you figures, here's my... This is the only figure that I purchased around July. Besides Ike, which uh, he came around... I buy him around June. But the other... Um, the other figure I purchased July, like I said, is going to come out pretty late. Because they're released pretty late. But yeah. So it's Tears of Themis. Or Themis. A little uh, figure. I'm probably going to show a close up with this because it's really hard to see because they're so small and tiny. I got it around $20, $24 for the whole set and I think that's a steal because uh, these mini figures are so pricey in eBay. But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think that's all the figures I have purchased. I purchased a lot of plushies this year for sure though. Oh. Especially this month for sure. So next up will be um, what I purchased um, as books. So I got this in um, um, from Bai, which I probably gonna post uh, a Bai video before this. But uh, yeah, it's just another bees log, three dollars, which is why I got it. But it just shows so much Atome game artists and art. I just really like to see them because they're I, some Atome game I didn't even know existed. So yeah. So next from books is I got this Hakuoki calendar. It's 2021, but I just like the art so much in this um, calendar. It looks super nice. But yeah, I really like the design. I really like these traditional uh, Japanese uh, style clothing. So yeah, they <laughs> Hakuoki was my first Otome game that I played. And I, st I should play their um, recent one. I hope they came out, come out like um, a remake around Switch. Because I think there's a new Hakuoki game, but I'm not sure. And next up will be Mangas. So Mangas, I got... Um, so these just came out um, this month. So Ragnarok. I really like Poseidon design in this story. I mean, in this... Um, he doesn't fight in this uh, manga though. Well, he kind of does, but no, not really. Yeah, he looks really cool. I really like uh, Poseidon design. And this one is also a good read. I think I read up to the latest one online, so I can't wait for the next one, which I didn't read yet. But I really like the how the story is going to. Nice isekai read. And this next will be manhwas, and manhwas are. Sp pricey like they're twenty dollars but it makes sense because the uh, the cover is really nice it's like embossed and uh, everything is colored right but this is the daughter of the emperor I read this recently 
this I feel like this is more like a guilty pleasure read because I didn't really like the plot or the guy that much. The art is kind of not my type, but the read is entertaining. But basically, it's like a daughter. It's like the stereotypical daughter isekai. Um, it's like a father daughter relationship, right? And this one is why related ended up with the Duke mentioned. This one is a really good manga. I read it all online, and I really enjoyed this manhwa. It's one of the first isekai manhwa I read, so uh, this is a very good buy. I mean, read if you want to see uh, want a very strong female lead and a very interesting male lead. So, so next up, I did uh, purchase this from, um, I did purchase this from Amazon, so it's a suitcase of um, purse, but the main one is this one, so I purchased this from Bai, also around 4 to $7. It is Key Acrylic Charm, so yeah. So I think, uh, I forgot, I did buy some more books. So these are the books I read. I bought from Bai. Um, they're all Japanese, <laughs> so. But I read this online, and I think this one got uh, translated in English by Kindle or something at Amazon. But these are one of my favorite shoujo so far. I've been into manhwa way more than shoujo recently. But uh, these are so far. These are my favorite shoujo. This one is getting a little bit angsty, but uh, I did read it online already, so I kind of know what, how the story goes. The reason why I bought the manga is uh, the Japanese version, even though I can't read it, is because I just want something to keep a memory of. I got this one to 10 for $20 uh, in Bai, which is why I just purchased it, you know? But, um, yeah. This one is, uh, I think, a uh, I forgot, it's called Cutie something. Be My Cutie or something. I forgot the English translation. Oh, this is called Condition of Love in one of the translation titles. It's called Condition of Love. And the, the male lead is debatable. He's kind of kind of yonder vibe, I guess. But it's a very sweet, sweet story overall. This one is very cute. The male lead stood out a lot, but I think the female lead stood out also. She's very... um. How you say she's very she has a good personality you can see why the male lead fall in love with her so yeah usually shoujo sometimes the female lead or any uh, manga sometimes the female characters are very meek or kind of like a doormat which i don't like but these are pretty good read for a uh, for interesting female character right so next up will be um enamel pins <laughs> so i did purchase a lot of enamel pins because i was planning to make some enamel pin later so it's nice to have some as reference i do purchase enamel pin before but i didn't purchase that much because of the shipping prices pr uh, prices i tend to purchase enamel pin when they're when i go to cons because i don't need to pay for the shipping prices right so i got these two so these are um how do I say it? These are glow in the dark. But you have to be in like complete darkness to um uh, to get uh to get them glow. Yeah, you have to be in like complete darkness to let it glow. So I probably won't do glow in the dark in that one because I think it's kinda a waste of money a little bit. But yeah. And yeah, these are all baby. Uh, so I'm gonna start me with a Tome. I want more a Tome merch. Not sure how you see it, but I've been um, into more um, collecting a Tome merch. So these are nice. I don't play Obey Me anymore, but um, because the story is kind of lacking a lot story wise. But it's, I still like the characters. I think they're funny. A baby is a game that you don't supposed to take it seriously. But I'm more into I'm more into game with good stories. And that's the Mystic Messenger. So I don't play this game anymore. I only I've been playing when it was hype, so I play all the routes. I haven't played the blue hair guy route yet. But um but yeah. But these are my two favorite characters, Jumin and Zen. They're very cute. 
So these designs is really nice. I'm planning to do design where there's more um, gold, like gold background and everything. I think it makes the character very interesting. So maybe in the future I'm going to make these type of uh, design for enamel pen. But right now I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm going to wait for my first batch come out first before I'm going to do anything crazy, right? So I am planning to release some more um, merch later on around September. Because right now, I think I have a sta not stable, but a stable life right now. So I think it's time to work my shop up a little bit. Like remodel it, maybe rebrand it. Who knows, right? But um, the reason why, um, so since I got so many enamel pins, I have a cork board and I have an Ita bag. So I bought this at Amazon Prime Day. So these are my old ones. These are the old one I purchased before because I do buy enamel pin in the past, but not that much. But uh, yeah, so they look nice. I bring it to work, so yeah. So next up is gonna be plushie, and yeah, these are more custom made plushies that I ordered. So I did order these yarn plushie of Borosana. There's a video review on it, but the um, the artist is really good. I I like how detailed he did with these plushies. But yeah, these are my favorite love interests in Burasana. Um, this ga the game is highly recommended if you really like a very strong heroine. But um, yeah, I really like the story of this game. But yeah, so cute. I bought, I want to get do Cupid Parasite next because I like two characters, Li from there. But I mean that will wait late later because they're pretty pricey. But I think they're pretty cheap for what people usually sell them for. Because uh, I went, to, I bought, I did purchase these type of plushie before and I got suit it's very expensive for like small ones these one is actually pretty decent price and next up I got I think most of the plushie I got from Bai because I went overboard but I forgot that shipping is expensive because the even though this is cheap the shipping is really expensive so yeah oh I forgot one of them so so I went overboard with the uh, Bai buying a whole bunch of plushies because they're so cheap but then I forgot that shipping will be expensive if the plushie is so big, right? Or the box is big and the weight is big. Plus I, have, I ship mangas inside that box too. So yeah, I can understand why it's so expensive. So don't go, remember the weight and the size of that box going to be in the future. Don't pay buy overboard like I did. But um, yeah. So this is Azul, uh, he's cute, I really like him from the Scarabia art because he's very, uh, the him and the Leech Brothers are very cute together. I call him for around like 5 $6. <laughs> Nobody is bidding online, that's why I got him so easily, but yeah. And this is Floyd or Lloyd, I messed up in the name. I want to get the other twin because it comes with a set with, um, with Azul, but he, they look kind of the same besides one with spiky teeth. I feel like it's a waste of money. But yeah. But he took, I like him the most. He looks uh, very fun. <laughs> and not fun. He's very uh, sophisticated but very evil at the same time. Which is pretty cool. But yeah. I need to catch up. Right now I'm Palm Fury arc and I need to finish that arc. And next up will be Riddle. Riddle, I like his voice acting a lot. Uh, I, I like his voice acting. It's re He sounds really nice. But yeah, he Riddle. Not my favorite character, but he's a very, he's an okay character. I think because he just doesn't show up that much besides this Garabia arc, but yeah. And he's a small version of Riddle, which is super cute. I like him. I'm debating where I should put him in my purse or not though. Because I don't want to, it to be ruined. But yeah. And Ace, your homeboy. Ace and Spade. No, not Spade. The blue hair guy. I for I forget names easily. But um Ace and him is very fun. <laughs> but your trio basically he, they're your group of people and they're they're your group of friends and they're very cute and I really like Ace. I want to get the blue hair one, but I couldn't find him uh, in a decent price. But um, here's a Grim. He is actually purchased along with Riddle and Azul, I think. Yeah, Riddle and Azul for like 10 to 11 bucks for three plushies. And I thought like that's a steal. <laughs> and I got 
But I forgot, remember, the size and the price, right? I mean, the size of the box weight, too. But he's very cute. He's like almost as tall as my head. Actually, he's taller than my head. But he's a very cute plushie. But yeah. I don't like the texture, though. He's, he's not like a very soft texture. And this one is probably Ukyo. He's probably the most expensive plushie I got. He's twenty dollars, including with the buy fees and everything. He's around twenty dollars, but he's super cute. And he's Ukyo. I want to get a uh, Toma. I haven't played Amnesia. I did spoil it by watching the anime and seeing some of the playthrough, but I totally want to uh, play it. I, there's a reason why people dislike and hate Toma, but I feel like he's a very interesting character. This is a Toma game, so yeah. Very uh, cute. I think that's pretty much it. I basically this whole July, I purchased mostly plushy, which is from Bai. And um, most of my um, July figure I purchased from Ami Ami. It's gonna be very late. Cause I don't know why. I think one of my figure is called Amiyoji. He is uh, he's that most expensive figure I got for July. So yeah, I tried to slow down on buying figures. I probably had to cancel some figures because um, I'm planning to. I did purchase some enamel pins that I plan to sell, and I'm planning to uh, make more merch for my shop because I've been um, lacking on um, updating my shop recently. So I I'm planning to. Uh, take some uh, stuff down and then uh, replace it with newer stuff and I plan to restock some popular stuff as well. So yeah, so that's pretty much it and thank you for watching.